You are now listening to the smooth sensations and high vibrations of Alex, host of the best relationship channel on YouTube. Alex, drop them gems on us. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And I had to make this video because I got to help a lot of you dudes out. Especially you young Gen Z dudes, man. Because you Gen Z dudes be getting two-pieced out here by the females. Y'all have no idea how to move, how to operate with women. Because there's a post that's going viral. Where the dude said, essentially, he went on a date with a girl. The date went fantastic. They was really having good vibes at the lunch. All right, he paid for the lunch. After the lunch, she invited him back to her place to watch a movie. They watched the movie. She told him when he was leaving that she'd like to hang out again. She'll be in contact. And when he got home, she blocked him on everything. Now, here's my problem. I know exactly why she blocked him on everything. Any dude who has experience with women, who has ever been able to successfully get laid, or just understands how women work at all, knows why she blocked him, okay? Just like we all knows why she invited him up for that movie. But instead of giving him proper advice, everybody's just trying to keep the man in the dark and keep him simping. Oh, the very first comment, right? Very first comment with a crap ton of likes. Oh, it's not you, it's her, man. No, it is you. And let me explain. All right, let me explain. The reason she blocked you on everything, my good sir, is because she wanted you to smash, AKA she wanted you to beat her cheeks, AKA she wanted you to clap her ass, AKA she wanted to ride your pogo stick, all right? Whatever you want to call it, it's a what? You ma call it. The point is she didn't invite you up to her house to watch no movie. She invited you up there so that you would beat her cheeks. You guys have to understand, unless a woman is a super hoe, and even when she just, even if she's a regular hoe, she's gotta be a super hoe. They are not, she's gotta be a super hoe or older woman, all right? Cause older women, they're more comfortable with their sexuality, right? Sometimes they're not, but most of the time they are. But when you're dealing with a woman under the age of like 35, unless she's a super hoe, she's never gonna tell you when she wants to smash. What women do, if they put you in situations where it becomes easy for you to smash, like inviting you up to a movie after lunch. You really think this woman wanted to watch an entire movie with you? Do you guys realize that the whole saying of Netflix and chill came because people would put on Netflix as background noise and then five minutes into the movie or TV show, they were smashing? Even Netflix knows this. Netflix knows you a loser who don't get laid. Because Netflix will ask you after 20 or 30 minutes, are you still watching? You know why they do that? Because they're expecting you to get laid. So even Netflix knew this was a layup, but your dumb ass didn't. And people want to coddle them instead of telling them the truth. This is not your fault. It is your fault. She blocked you because you didn't do what she wanted you to do, which is spank her cheeks. Guys, let me tell you something. A woman is not inviting you up to her place just to catch a vibe. All right? If you're not her man, the only other reason a woman would invite a man who's not her man or her friend to her place is to smash. That's it. And even when she invites her man, yeah, she'll be inviting her man just to chill, but they're still going to smash. Nine out of ten times if a woman is telling you come in, she going to let you smash. And as a man, you got to at least try. Like, damn. I mean, honestly, even if it's your friend, it might change. One time, I smashed my friend's friend. And that was one of the only times I ended up in a situation similar to the situation this dude's in. Because I just hit her up and I was like, hey, you know, you want to smoke and watch the game? Because she likes basketball or whatever. So she's like, yeah, we could watch the game. She's a Heat fan. I'm a Knicks fan. So we was watching the game. We were smoking. I didn't make a move on her, only because, even though she had huge titties, nice ass, pretty girl. But I only didn't make a move on her because she was my friend's friend. They told me, mind you, I was younger at this time, so I didn't know women were treacherous. <laughs> But they told me they would never sleep with, you know, one of their friends, someone their friend slept with. Right? So I had slept with her friend. So I didn't think she was going to want to sleep with me. That's the only reason I didn't make a move. And you know what she ended up doing? She legitimately rolled out of the bed and stood up and was like, 
so do you want to fuck? And she said it just like that. She's like, because I can't lie to you. I'm horny as hell. I know you won't say nothing. And you sexy. Now, in this case, that girl was a hoe. All right? My friend's friend was a hoe. One, because she's sleeping with me, which she know I slept with her friend. But also because she was just that outright with it, right? And she was so, guys, let me tell you something. By the time I got done taking my pants off, because I'm like, hell yeah, I want to smash you. I was stupidly trying to be respectful. I didn't even get a chance to get my boxers off. This girl was already butt-ass naked. Spread eagle, ready to go. Right? You understand what I'm saying to you? This is how women move. This is how they operate. If they didn't want you to do that, they wouldn't have invited you up to the crib. There was only like one time, there's only like one time in my life a woman invited me up to her spot and we didn't smash. And that's because I was dating this chick who had just brought a house and I picked her up from her house. We went bowling and I took her back to the house and she invited me in the house because she wanted to show me the house. That was a different situation. She just wanted to show off her new house. She literally had just brought it. And even then I still made a move. She was just like, no, it's too early. You know, that's the only scenario I've ever been in where a woman invited me to her place and she didn't want me to smash when she was just showing off her house. And every other scenario, woman invited me up, she wants to smash. Like I said, unless it's your friend. And to be honest with you, a lot of times, even if it's your friend, they want to smash. I haven't smashed all my friends. I try not to, but I've smashed a few of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I have in my time, but most of them I try not to. But that's the only case where it's acceptable to just be like, okay, I'm not gonna make a move because the girl's your friend. So you assume she might actually just wanna watch the game or actually just wanna watch a movie, but you went on a date. So there's no reason to not try to smash the chick you went on a date with. That just makes you look like a beta male. But you get my point. The only scenario where a woman is inviting you into her house and she doesn't want you to smash is if you're her friend. You ain't her friend. Y'all went on a date. So why would you go up there and not even attempt? Guarantee you she would have gave you no resistance. Everybody knows that. And you don't know that. And you don't blame her. Then she assumed, let me tell you something. The reason she blocked you on everything is because she knows you don't get no hoes. Because any man who has any experience with women at all would have known, okay, she invited me into her spot. This means she wants me to smash. And before you dorks come, because I know a dork's going to come in the comments, huh? well, you shouldn't listen to this guy because what about consent? What if you go up there and try to smash and she says no, huh? <laughs> stupid? If she says no, then you stop. No means no. But again, any man who has experience with women will also tell you a lot of the times it's 50-50. You go to smash the first time, she might give you no resistance. She might decide to make it a little bit more difficult for you. Women do things like this. Everybody knows this. So she might be like, mm, no, no. You stop. All right, you let some time pass. You try one more time. If she tells you no again, then F it. You did nothing wrong. But nine out of ten times, that second time, she's going to let it go down. But like everybody knows this. So when you're talking about some, what about consent? Hey, this is not a consent conversation. Because if I'm wrong and she doesn't want you to smash, which I'm not wrong, that's why she blocks you, she's just going to tell you no. And you stop. Simple as that. But the reason she blocked you on everything is because she's like, okay, if this man didn't catch the hint that I invited him up to this place, not to watch a movie. We just went on a date. I just met you. I invited you to my place. You're just supposed to know this is a green light for you to smash. The fact that you don't know that tells me you don't have experience with women. No woman wants to be a man's first. All right? I'm just being honest with you guys. Men and women are opposite. Men like to be a woman's first and teach her everything and show her everything. Women don't like to be a man's first. You know why? Because women like to be dominated. How can you dominate a woman in the bedroom when you have no experience? And how women see it, if you can't dominate them, you damn sure ain't about to dominate other men. So if you can't dominate me, right, how are you going to protect me? Also, because she put you in a box, she invited you up to her spot after the first date. Any man who has experience with women, for the most part, right, most men are going to assume that a woman's a hoe when she invites you up to her spot after the first date especially when you sleep with her. So you weren't going to get blocked either way. I just want you to know that, right? But in one event, you would have got blocked, but she would have been smiling. Now you're just getting blocked and you're confused. But I had one of my subscribers asked me this question before. He said, hey, I had a one night stand with a girl, but now she's kind of acting funny. Do you know why? Yeah, because when you have a one night stand with a woman, 
she's expecting you not to come back. Once you come back, and I told my subscriber that, she's gonna she's gonna be acting funny because she's not gonna let you have a one night stand again. Now she's gonna want you to wife her. Now she's gonna want you to take her on several dates. Now she's gonna want you to be more serious with her. So if you don't have any intentions on doing that, then there's no point in talking to her. And her assumption is you're not gonna have, which he didn't, by the way, have any intentions on doing that because she let him hit on the first night. Fine, so she doesn't want you around. That's normal. You get what I'm saying? And the reason I said she's assumed, she assumed that you a bitch and she was right is because his very next comment, when the dude told him that it's not his fault, he said, oh, it's okay, man. It's just another thing that makes me want to give up on dating. Why do you want to give up on dating? Because a hoe blocks you. Girls are like buses. Miss one, next 15, one coming. Why would you want to give up on dating? Because a girl blocks you. That's just stupid. You win some, you lose some. But you don't stop playing the game. That's not how it works, man. You guys have to understand female psychology. Y'all don't understand female psychology at all. And y'all some quitters. So she was right about you. You weak. You shouldn't be wanting to quit just because she blocks you. And the fact that you do want to quit because she blocks you says everything that you need to know. It says everything you need to know. It means she's right about you. You're weak. You don't have experience with women. You're in over your head. It's no point in her continuing to talk to you. No point. You need to go and find someone who's on your level which will likely be a virgin, who's still not gonna talk to you. Because like I said, women don't like to teach men anything. A virgin is more than likely gonna go with a highly successful man who has experience with other women. She's just gonna make that man marry her. She's probably not gonna pick you. That's just the reality of this situation. Be honest with you. You nerds come, like I said, and it's, oh, uh, well, she's not a good woman anyway. Why, because she likes sex? That makes her not a good woman? That's crazy. Everybody likes sex who can get it. You know what I mean? Some people only want to give it in there in a relationship. Some people want to save it to marriage. Some people are casual, but everybody likes sex. It doesn't make someone a bad person because they like to have sex. It damn, what does it say about your self-esteem if a woman wants to have sex with you and you think she's a hoe? You should be happy she picked you to have the one night stand with. That means she thinks you're hot, she thinks you won't run your mouth, and she thinks you're a good person. You look at that as she's a hoe. All right, you don't, you don't, you guys, you don't help men by not telling them the truth. The truth is she wants you to be dominant. She wants you to take over. She wants you to go in there and she wants you to beat her cheeks. That's what the woman wanted you to do. And it's your fault because you didn't do that. Why would you even go to like, come on, man. How much of a dork do you have to be? There's no way this woman assumes you were that much of a dork. Clearly she didn't. That's why she blocked you on everything because she's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just invited this man to the crib. It's just me and him. We in here. And I'm not stupid. I know she was either laying on you or sitting mad. I know women. She gave you some type of a hint that she wanted you to smash, bruh. She did. She just didn't outright say it. The scenario I told you earlier, like I said, my friend's friend was a hoe. So after a while, she just said it. Most women wouldn't. And all the other cases where women invited me up to their place, they didn't say anything. They just did stuff. Like they'll sit right next to you or they'll put their hand, head on your lap, right? Or they'll ask you to hold them, you know? Something like that. They're, they're opening the door for you to make a move. You didn't make the move. So this says to her, okay, I'm gonna have to teach this man everything. That's a chore to women. They don't wanna have to teach you how to have sex. They don't wanna teach, have to teach you how to get laid. They don't wanna have to teach you how women operate. They don't. That's a chore to them. Men enjoy those things, women do not. Women want a man who's already pre-made. He already knows how to smash. He already understands women. He's already got the bag. That's what women like. They don't want to have to teach you how to do these things. Unless she's older, which is why I said if you were dealing with a woman 35 plus in her 40s, and saying, yeah, she would have just walked you through all this. But a younger woman is not going to do that. She's not. And like I said, the nerds are going to come and go, oh, and she's just a whore. And you just respect yourself. Don't you feel bad? But here's the thing. You call it respecting yourself. You're a man. What straight testosterone filled man will have a woman he's clearly attracted to enough to take on a date, pay for the date and spend his whole day with and not try to smash her? Why? Why? It doesn't even make sense. 
Again, if she says no, cool. But you got to at least try, man. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense not to try. Only a nerd would tell you not to. I'm going to tell you right now. If you go through your entire life overly respecting women like this, right? Overly valuing them like this, you're, you're the one who's going to lose in the end, like I said earlier in the video. You're the one who's going to get divorced, grape. You're the one who's going to end up on child support, right? You're the one who's going to end up with a wife who's not submissive, don't listen, don't respect you. A wife who you in a sexless marriage. That's what's going to happen. It's going to end badly for you. You being a nice guy to this level only benefits women when they're ready to be married. That's it. It doesn't benefit you at all. It doesn't benefit you at all. So I'm just trying to put you on a game, man. That's the reason she blocked you. She wanted you to smash. You couldn't take the hint. When you couldn't take the hint, she looked at you as a beta male. Your later post where you said this makes me not want to date anymore confirms that she was right and you are a beta male. So she, she blocked you. If you want to have success in this dating market, you better tighten up. But I'm just telling you, man, you better come with it. You got to be masculine. You got to be dominant. These nerds try to make you all super respectful, talking about respecting yourself. That's what women say. Y'all sound like hoes. Oh, you don't really, he respected himself, so he didn't try to sleep with her. Okay. So he took her out to lunch and paid for the date because he didn't want to smash? No. He did not smash because he respected himself. He didn't smash because he has no idea anything about women. He doesn't know what to do. Hence why I'm telling him. Goddamn nerds. <laughs> Hopefully he sees this video. I don't know. But if anyone else has ever been in a situation like this or you end up in a situation like this, that's how you handle it. I am Alex, y'all, and I am out. Peace.